Serious. What is the scariest thing to happen to you when you've been home alone? I was home alone at my dad's while he was working nights. Making my dinner and everything. I was probably about 14 or 15 at the time. I was watching TV while my potatoes were cooking when I had something slam into the front door. I grab my pocket knife and check it out. Nothing. About 10 minutes later I hear another bang on the front door, repeat and still nothing, really freaked me out cause we'd had a few houses get broken into on my street. Turns out I didn't put enough holes into my baked potatoes and they exploded in the oven. The scariest thing that happened to me I didn't know actually happened until the following day. I lived in an apartment in a not so good part of a dangerous city with my boyfriend who worked nights. One day our friend came over and called me to let him in our building in a hurry. Turns out this guy had been crouched by my car in the parking lot and had approached our friend and closed in on him. My friend pulled out a weapon and the guy ran off. Upstairs I noticed that the guy had left a green bundle near my car and assumed he would be back for it. It made me uncomfortable so I suggested we call the cops. Not 5 minutes after a cop showed up to ask where the guy had gone SWAT, K9, and about 10 cars showed up and swarmed our area. Turns out the guy had escaped from county the night before with two other guys. He was in jail for assault with a deadly weapon and repeated domestic violence offenses. He had climbed the fence in the yard behind our building where our landlord kept his camper, broken into the camper, and stayed there the night before. He had stolen all the electronics out of it as well as a butcher knife and was trying to break into my car before my friend showed up. I had been alone the night before and had taken my dog down to the yard to go to the bathroom. I noticed that the barbed wire on the top of the fence had fallen down. And my dog was nervous. But I brushed it off. The guy had been in the camper watching me the whole time and I never knew it. Probably pretty lame compared to most stories on here. Was working pretty late. Re. 2 AM. On my computer when I get an alert from my security camera that detected motion. I checked it and there was a person staring into my apartment window in full view of where I was working. I closed the computer, turned off the lights and went into the bathroom for a bit. Turns out being extra paranoid when someone is staring into your apartment at 2 AM isn't a good combination. I checked the camera memory and the guy was there for 20 minutes, just real casual. Called the cops and the kid ran away and came back an hour later. Haven't seen him since was home alone one night and it was close to Halloween in 2015. Loud ass knock on the front door. I was eating dinner. So I slowly but cautiously go to the front door. Open it up and there is blood all over the front porch and no one there. Kind of freaked out a bit thought it was a prank. Called the cops because what the fuck ya know? They said they would send someone there. They called back and said someone was on a bike and fell and was bleeding bad and was going door to door asking for help. I missed the person. But one of my neighbors helped them out apparently. Crazy. It was about 8.30 at night and I heard the front door open. I called out from my room asking why my mom and dad were home only a half hour after they left for dinner. I almost shit my pants and straight up jumped out of my bedroom window when a random male voice replied. What? There's somebody in here? Turns out it was somebody who got hired to check on one of our neighbor's dog when they were on vacation and he got the wrong house address. But the raw fear that gripped me when I heard his voice still gives me nightmares. There had been a scratching in my ceiling for a while. And my landlady was dragging her feet over having it looked into. One night. Around 2 AM. The scratching became so bad it woke me up from a dead sleep. I tried to reassure myself that whatever it was couldn't really get through to me. And I would be fine until I could call my landlady the next day and really press the issue. Then some debris fell from my ceiling whatever was up there had managed to dig a small hole into my room. I screamed and heard some scurrying away from my approximate location. Grabbed any stuff I needed for the next day. Got the fuck out of there. Shut the door tight behind me. And slept on the couch. I called my landlady first thing in the morning. And she had someone come while I was at work that day to check it out. A mama raccoon had managed to get her way into the space between the roof and my ceiling and had given birth to a litter of kits. The guy speculated that the kits were getting old enough to start wrestling around. And that was likely what led to the hole in my ceiling. Luckily it was just small. The size of a quarter. So there weren't any angry raccoons hanging out in my room when I got home. They were able to safely trap and release the whole little family. But I still started hunting for new apartments ASAP. I move into my new place on May 1st. When I was younger my mom left me and my little brother home alone while she ran to the store. I was in middle school. So old enough to be left home safely for an hour and my bro was only two years younger. 
Mom leaves and me and my brother are watching TV in the living room and we see a bunch of smoke from the big bay window facing the front yard shortly after she leaves. We look. And a car has crashed into the ditch that is next to our driveway. I grab the phone and we go out on the porch. I call 911 and give them my address. Then I call my grandma and tell her what happened. Cops and the whole emergency entourage gets there. I go talk to the cops. Mind you. We lived on a state route. It's a two-lane road so the entire section of road in front of my house is closed off. My mom rounds the corner of the side road to pull onto the St. RT and sees a ton of cop cars in out driveway and shutting down the road. Two fire trucks. At least two ambulances. And. As any mom seeing this. Freaks out. Note about the road in our house. The road is significantly higher than the ditch. So it is entirely possible to miss the wrecked car. Especially when you know you left your kids home alone. They allow her to park in the neighbor's driveway since ours is currently occupied. And we see her sprinting across the yards. The cops intercept her. She sees that me and my brother are okay and is able to calm down enough to talk to the cops. TLDR car crashed in our front yard when I was left home alone. Gave mom a heart attack from all the emergency vehicles surrounding her house when she tried to drive down the road. I was a young kid home alone and my mom called the phone and said a tornado was coming and I had to go shelter in the basement. The basement was incredibly creepy. Especially as a child. I never went down there on my own. So little old me grabs my toy lantern to descend into the basement all alone with rain hitting the windows. With only the flicker of my toy lamp to light up my surroundings while I make my way to the boiler room and shelter in place until someone comes to get me. Imagine that. Just sitting there in the darkest listening to all of the sounds for something like two hours. Fucking freaky. Turns out the tornado missed us by miles. I was probably nine years old. My sister was six. We had a babysitter who was twelve. So alone in the sense that no adults were around. Jackass that I was. I squirted bug spray on my sister and she chased me in retaliation. I ran through some French glass doors to get away from her. She went for the knob and missed. Her arm went through one of the glass panes. She cut herself so deep. You could see muscle, tendons, and bone. It looked like a shittily cut piece of raw meat, since that's basically what it was. The babysitter held a piece of cloth on my sister's arm until my mom came home. Called her right away, and took my sister to the ur. She didn't hit an artery so it wasn't as bad as it could have been. But it was scary as fuck at the time. Got 60 stitches out of it. Someone tried to break into my neighbor's house while I was babysitting their kids. I was 15 and I used to babysit for my neighbors down the block. They had a really nice house. Three floors with a built-in garage under the house. That connected to the basement. It was the family's most used entrance of the house and they rarely locked the basement door as long as the garage was closed. They also had the type of security system where anytime a door opens you heard. Beep beep beep. After the parents left one night I was putting the kids to bed and I heard the beep beep beep. I yelled out thinking it was the parents coming back for something but no one answered. The system on the wall kept reading. Basement door open. I was freaked out so I called my dad and asked him to come by since he was only a few houses away. When he arrived, he told me to stay in the kitchen while he checked the house but before he could. We heard the beep 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 again and then the garage door opened when we ran to the window to see if the parents were pulling into the driveway. They weren't. Instead someone in a hoodie was running out of the garage door and into the woods behind the house. My dad ended up calling the cops. I'm still creeped out by it. Early teen years. Power went out while I was taking a shower late at night. I got out of the shower already freaked out and looked outside through the window. My house was the only one without power. Stupid teenage brain. This is clearly an attempt on my life reality. House had a weird problem where the power would cut out if the water heater and air conditioner happened to turn on the same time. It had never happened to me before that. But my dad assured me that was the problem once he finally came home. I was in my basement where the computer was playing some game. Probably RuneScape. And heard someone pull into the driveway. Naturally assuming it was my mother who was coming home from work. I heard the screen door open but when no one opened the lock on the actual door I started to go upstairs and I saw a pair of legs go by the window. While the basement was underground. There was about a foot that popped up above ground level and had two windows. I go upstairs and see two dudes in my backyard looking at the windows and talking about the door was locked. It was an attempted home robbery. We had been broken into a few times at that point and had everything locked. But 10 year old me was terrified. Edit. Because you guys keep asking. They just left. Nothing happened. 
No home alone shit. I did not get killed. I am very much alive. It was a hot summer and my parents went to a wedding. I had a project to do and it was like 1 am and silent until a random drunk dude crawled in through my window with a bottle and blush face. I was 20 feet away at my desk from the window and we both just stared at each other. He was flustered and said, oh sorry their kid wrong house, and attempts to leave the way he came. He was drunk and dizzy so I helped him by pushing him out the window. I thoroughly shut it and stared at it for two hours until my parents came home. Edit. First up vote above 50 wow ill try and read all if not most and reply if I can.